Hello, beloved. This is Lainey Love Dolby beaming in, the cosmic creatrix of the Sacred Revolution Oracle, and so thrilled to share that the second edition is now here and available and shipping out immediately. You can get the link below, and I'm so thrilled to be tuning in today here in Virgo season, which is the sign of the High Priestess. And we have entered today into the Pisces full moon, which is conjunct Neptune. And so Pisces is the sign of the mystic, the poet, the oracle, the seer. It's the boundless and expansive sea. It can be romantic and dreamy, but also illusory with Neptune in the mix. So we have big dreaming energy available here, but also potential fog and confusion. So Pisces can be like a psychic sponge. So really being mindful of your energetic boundaries and really also noting your intuition and psychic capacities now. They will be heightened, especially if you have significant Pisces in your chart. So definitely go out under, sit under the moon, see what wants to channel through you. And know that there may also be high emotions moving with this combination and allowing yourself to surrender to the flow, to be like water, to let emotions move and really tend lovingly to yourself. There can be a dissolving of boundaries that can happen. And with Neptune, there can be grief and loss that comes up as well. So really just gently tending to yourself with such care here on this full moon. And my moon and south node are in Pisces actually, and they're exact and conjunct with Neptune. So I am having a Neptune transit right now and really feeling these energies, especially the clarifying around relationships and clearing old karmic patterns, since this moon is actually trying the south node in Scorpio. So this is a perfect time to help clear those old karmic patterns and to really release them and let them go for good. And this is also heightened since we've moved into Mercury retrograde in Libra yesterday. So reflecting on relationships will be up as a theme with this retrograde as we are moving forward. And so it's really a great time to deep dive within and do shadow work during this Mercury retrograde, which I'll actually be sharing more about in a new video soon. So be sure to subscribe below to be notified about that. Um, and one other thing to share, since this is the Pisces full moon and the sign and archetype of the Oracle, today is actually our last day for the early bird for our new course, How to Create, Publish, and Sell Your Own Oracle Deck. So if you are interested in creating your own deck, this is for you. You can get all the info below. And again, today is the last day to get the early bird. It is a huge discount and super worth it if you even have a little inkling within you that you want to create a deck, we encourage you to jump in. Uh, and again, the info is below for you. So we're going to get into the cards here. Um, some juicy ones came through and really it feels like in general, it is indicating to us to dream and imagine greater possibility to connect with the higher vision coming in from the mystical realms because Pisces really connects us to that oneness energy, the higher consciousness, the mystical realms. And so the first card that came through is number 16, which is the keeper of thunder and lightning. We haven't seen her in a while, so I'm excited to see her presence today. She is a powerhouse and a little bit of a high priestess in her own right. We have number 17, which is Whispers of the Sacred Winds. And then we have 39, the vibrational pulsing light web of creation. Mm, this one feels very dreamy to me, very mystical, very Piscean. And then 43, remember that all life is sacred. And what a beautiful end note uh, with the cards here. 
of really remembering our sacredness and that we are one with the web of all life. So just really wanting to, to honor that in this energy because we have that possibility and that potential to really allow ourselves to reconnect in here to that greater web of all life, that pulsing light web of all creation, to dissolve those boundaries, to dissolve separation, to dissolve isolation and to come back into our full remembrance, remembrance of our majesty, of our sacredness, of our co-creative capacities. This is the card of the visionary dreamer. And so we are the visionary dreamers that are here together dreaming the new dream awake. This is our time to really lean in. What is that big dream that we have been calling in? Because we have this um, card here, which is really all about limitless potential, expanded consciousness, quantum leaping. These cards have to do with quantum leaping, healing, dreaming, and stepping into whole new levels of our being. And so what is that big dream, that 30,000 foot view that the predatory birds hold what is that 30,000 foot view dream, that big dream that you have been calling in, that you have been moving towards? And to allow yourself to really focus your energies on that big dream, on that connection of that dream to the web of all life, really helping to weave that energy in. Because even though there may be some of that illusory energy that is moving now, we have that capacity to really feel into the expanded potential of what it is that we're here to create in the web, what it is that we're here to birth, knowing that each pluck that we make on the web of life affects all, truly affects the greater unfolding of the new earth, of the co-creation of the world. We truly want to see that world, the more beautiful world that our hearts knows is possible. So really looking at that piece of, of where we can connect into the greater web, where we can weave our dream into the web. And I love that this card is present too because spiders have been so present in my life. Spiders have been coming in left, right, and center. I think there's been hundreds actually in the last month that have been coming in. And this is related, this card, to Grandmother Spider and the weaving of creation stories in ancient um, ancient storytelling and indigenous cultures. And so it's this idea of what story are we weaving? What web are we weaving with our words, with our actions, with how we are showing up in the world? What are we co-creating? Because it is our capacity to weave, to co-create, and to really bring forward that big dream and to start taking action towards that dream. Because that's what this card really indicates. It's not just holding that 30,000 foot view. It's also starting to take action steps towards that. And while we're in this period of Mercury retrograde, it's a great time to re uh, sort of go in with all the re words. So reinvent, um, sort of uh, reinvestigate, reopen the dream that you are moving towards and really start to fine tune it, really start to look at how you want to send those tendrils of the web out into the greater web of creation of all life together. And as we do this, really remembering that all life is sacred, all life is sacred, and that we are holding that sacredness deeply in our being. And with this card, it really is the high priestess, the high priestess coming in and saying, this is how I want to hold space. This is how I want to hold and channel the light out into the world. This is how I want to start to affect that change with my dream. This is how I want to participate and give and offer my medicine to that collective web of all life. And so really allowing yourself to tune in with these energies here now and tune into that larger dream and that greater possibility that is calling you forward in all realms of your life, in your sacred work, especially in your relationships, and especially in this higher vision that is wanting to come in now from the mystical realms. What is the highest possible vision and dream that you can hold? now at this time and start to move towards moment to moment to moment 
Pisces reminds us of the deep sacredness of all life, the deep interconnectivity of all life. Together, we are in this vast ocean. We are each droplets in this vast sea. And when we come together, we remember. We remember who we truly are, why we are here. And as the whole purpose of the deck is, we come back home to our bodies, the earth, each other, and this web of all life. So this is a prime opportunity to lean into the full medicine in the sacred revolution oracle and to really allow ourselves to to really know at the deepest level of our being and our bones that we are sacred we are holy we have the capacity to co-create this new earth we have the capacity to be the visionary dreamers, to be the lightning catalysts. She is the lightning catalyst to help create that change. And she's also very Scorpionic. So she feels like she's pulling in some of that energy of the Scorpio South Node trine that is happening to be able to really help us to clear those old karmic patterns, to shed and let go, to burn away and alchemize and transmute those energies so that we can come into the highest expression of ourselves, of our sacred work, of ourselves in relationship with others. And one of the clarifying cards that came through is 21, which is the Keeper of Life, Death, and Rebirth Mysteries. And this card feels like it's uh, really speaking to the Neptune conjunction because Neptune can really bring in that grief, that loss, that letting go. So really asking, what is it that you need to let go of now that isn't in service to the larger dream, that isn't in service to you having the type of relationship you most deeply desire, that isn't in service to you being in your fullest expression? What is it that is really ready to shed and die away, especially in that Scorpio South Node? energy, any any issues around power, around your sexuality, around really being in your fullest expression of that power and sovereignty in the world, of really standing in your truth, your magical capacities. She's also the way shower and the magician and the one who truly can alchemize in this rather soulless world. And so really asking there for you, what, what are these scorpionic energies that are desiring to be cleared, these karmic energies, so that you can really start to move totally towards that larger vision and dream that you are holding now in the world, so that you can really bring forward your gifts and medicine into the web as your sacred offering, that you can bring that forward for the good of all. And what is it that might be keeping you from that knowing that you are sacred, that your sexuality is sacred, that your power is sacred, and that you are here to bring that forward in service as the as the skulls here at the top are really about personal and planetary transformation and allowing yourself to really be a part of that sea change, to be one of the way showers of this new earth. And here we also have the Jaguar, which really indicates that shadow work that I spoke into. As we go in to this Mercury retrograde, it is a time that we can deep dive into the shadow, that we can pull up and dredge up from the swamp, that which is wanting to come to the light to be fully integrated into wholeness now. And no longer pushing that away or keeping it in secret as Scorpio can do in the shadow. It pushes things down into the shadows and into secrecy, but bringing it to the light, bringing it to truth, bringing it into wholeness, bringing it into and integrating it into our full being so that we can really co-create that world that we are here, that we can dream the new dream awake together. And so these are the potent energies that are moving for this full moon today. So really wanting to honor anything that is moving in you, especially the emotions. Again, be sure to tend to yourself so lovingly here if there's emotions moving for you. If you have the opportunity to go get in the ocean, do so. If not, take a clearing salt bath or a shower or even just washing from your elbows down with salt and water to help clear and cleanse anything that is wanting to go. Since as we know, full moons are really about release of letting go of clearing. And so we really have that opportunity here now to do that. And so welcoming in that 
that medicine of the salt water of the ocean of Mama Gaia to clear and cleanse us in such a gentle, loving way to help restore us to balance and to help open us for that dream, for the visions, for the intuitions, for the downloads that desire to come through now from this Pisces full moon to help us become and be the seers, the oracles, the mystics, the, the way showers, the priestess energy, the priest priestess energy in the new earth. And to really help co-create and dream that new dream awake, the more beautiful world our hearts knows is possible and is deeply yearning for. So I'd love to hear how this is resonating for you in the comments below. What is the big dream that you are holding and moving towards that greater possibility that you are opening to that higher vision from the mystical realms you are welcoming in? Would love to hear in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and share with anybody that you feel would be deeply nourished by this medicine and would love to see you so soon. Again, it is the last day for the early bird for the oracle deck creation course so if you want to create your own deck join us it's possible to get started for only 44 dollars with the early bird pricing if you choose the investment plan so now is the time to step in to activate your inner oracle if you're feeling that call uh, we'll also be gathering next Friday for an activation with the Crystal Skulls if you're desiring to go deeper into your inner mystic and oracle energies um, and really work with the, the medicine of the Crystal Skulls, which showed up here in our cards today, by the way. So calling in that potent medicine as well. All the info will be below and looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, sparkle shamelessly for the good of all and call forward that dream. Let us dream the new dream awake, beloveds. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Bye for now.